Welcome back all my minecrafting friends. It's the day one player update for the April 2015 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge Monster Museum and it was a rough day. There were five deaths in day one. But let's start with Jade LF. She did not die in day one. Uh, she started her her day by exploring uh, then she found a cave and went went exploring in a cave. Then she came back and did some farming. She expanded her farm. And then she finished up her episode by mining. Uh, next we have Outfoxed. Outfoxed uh, did some farming. He has a, a relatively small farm. But he went out and looked for seeds. Collected some seeds so he can make it bigger. Uh, then he went mining. He found a zombie dungeon, or he, he, you know, found, okay, he, he navigated to a zombie dungeon by the coordinates, uh, captured the zombie dungeon, got a potato in the process. Uh, then he returned back, back to his home. Okay, next we have Bear Family 07. This is a father and son team. Uh, they made a farm. They went down into some caves and was uh, doing some caving. They found a zombie dungeon and broke the spawner because they didn't need it. They made bread and they finished up their episode by fishing. Uh, next we have the Bear Family 07 uh, father. Uh, single player game okay uh, he put water on his dirt farm you know in the middle he hydrated his dirt farm his dry farm uh, he also expanded his farm then he went mining uh, which broke into some caves and he did some cave exploration uh, but he's ended his episode still hungry and not having enough food Next we have Smithy MC. Smithy uh, was looking for food on day one. He went down mining. Uh, he's killing zombies and he's living off of zombie flesh. He found a ravine. Uh, then he came back up on the surface uh, toward the end of his episode and uh, decided to fight some mobs up there. Didn't, didn't stay on the surface long. Changed his mind and went down back into the mines at the end of his episode. But uh, he's still having uh, food problems. Next we have Felonius Wizard. I, thought, I don't think a spider can get me up here because of the overhang. Okay, I can hear him, but uh, I don't think he's going to attack. Felonius Wizard... Uh, did some farming. He expanded his farm. Uh, then he went caving. He was fighting mobs in caves. Then he came back out and was collecting seeds. He killed two witches uh, almost simultaneously. They were they spawned together and they were there together and uh, he just rushed in and killed them both. Okay. He was uh Spent the rest of his episode uh, fighting mobs up on the surface, and he got a carrot from uh, from a zombie drop. So that that will come in handy in his farm. Next we have PB of the channel PB plays inside, and uh, she found a zombie dungeon. She encountered some silverfish, which several other players are having trouble with in this biome. Uh, then she went caving and uh, she made herself full armor, full iron armor. She has plenty of iron for that. Next we have Cherry Bitters. Cherry Bitters uh, found a ravine and went uh, ravine caving. She found a diamond, a a single diamond that uh, several other people have found, including Basket MC. Uh, 
then she came across a zombie dungeon uh, after capturing the zombie dungeon she made herself a uh, full armor then she came back up to the surface to fight mobs on the surface next we have Razorter Z Razorter Z uh, started his episode by caving he found some diamonds multiple diamonds not just the one but uh, he's he's way out there he's not in the extreme hills biome with the rest of us he's out there in the plains and the roofed forest biome okay so after he got his diamonds he came back up to the surface and uh, punched a lot of giant mushrooms to uh, increase his his mushroom stores uh, then he was having technical difficulties uh, so part of his episode did not get recorded but he was able to uh, make himself full iron armor so we had enough iron for that next we have the solo world of New Azusa New Azusa uh, also uh, found the ravine and did some uh, exploration in the ravine yeah, he he does a lot of mining in the dark without torches even though he has torches he doesn't put them down because I guess he doesn't think that we need to be able to see anything on the screen you know throw a torch down every once in a while Nua and we could see too he found diamonds yes he did uh, I think he gave the coordinates but I don't remember next we have John Fall 92 John Fall 92 found the skeleton dungeon so if you want to know which dungeon is the skeleton dungeon you can check out his episode uh, other than that uh, it was pretty routine nothing else to report from John uh, next we have barbecue grapes barbecue grapes uh, was having uh, internet issues so he got kind of a late start but he did post uh, his first two episodes today and uh, in those two episodes he he visited two zombie dungeons he found multiple diamonds and he made himself a farm so he's off to a good start next we have Murph and Dan uh, Murph and Dan uh, went fishing yeah that's 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 what they did they fished they ran around they talked they did a little exploring they did a little farming did a little other stuff but mostly fishing next we have black belt crafter black belt crafter uh, was mining obsidian at the beginning of his episode and mined obsidian for a while then he returned to his base and uh, he's got three uh, furnaces uh, smelting stuff smelting stuff iron and other stuff uh, and then he finished this episode by doing a little mining next we have the kid awesome 2 channel and they have three series is going on the kid awesome 2 channel they have the dad they have the Jaden and then they have the team of Jaden and dad okay so the dad which I think is Troy boy 777 uh, if I'm not mistaken I don't have it written down I'm just doing that from memory so I could be wrong okay so in the dad single player world uh, he made himself a nice tidy little farm he decided to cut down a bunch of trees and he did get some apples out of it uh, he went mining and encountered some silverfish so yes the fish are biting the silverfish that is next we have the single player Jaden world uh, Jaden uh, cut some trees also then he went mining and he encountered some silverfish a lot of silverfish okay Jaden was like overrun with silverfish wherever he was at is not a good place and they they got him uh, they overpowered him and stripped the meat from his bones so Jaden is out at least in his single-player world he's still in the team Jaden and dad world next week we cover the team Jaden and dad world where 
Uh, Jaden is still alive, for one thing. They did some tree farming, or they plant saplings and cut down trees as fast as they will grow. Uh, Jaden put a little fence around the farm, although it only goes around three sides of it, and it does leave a way for anything to get in and out of the other side. So I don't know what the purpose of the fence was, but it looks nice. Next, we have Tim Obert, uh, also known as Captain Hook 5150. He was having uh, keyboard control issues. Uh, he couldn't control his running or his some of the other stuff uh, for part of his episode, at least. But he says he will have it all fixed by Friday. He went and collected seeds, and he also went and cut down trees to get wood. Then he uh, did a little mining and was collecting coal. Then he decided to go caving, and uh, he he crafted some iron bars, uh, hopefully for cages. Okay, next we have Derp Guru. Derp Guru uh, was cutting large trees down. She got two apples. Uh, a creeper surprised her and she screamed. Let's see. Then she went mining. Uh, some silverfish. Uh, she saw some silverfish, but they didn't attack her. Then she found the zombie dungeon. And uh, she was... She was making her way around the zombie dungeon, you know, uh, breaking blocks around the top, getting it all opened up, and uh, a zombie came up behind her and pushed her into the dungeon with the rest of the zombies, and that was all she wrote. The, uh, yeah, the zombies all hit her at once, and she was out instantly. So, not a pretty way to go, but I want to thank Derp Guru for doing this month anyway because I know she had some serious misgivings uh, but it is better to have you know played and died than never to have played at all someone famous said that okay next we have Bad Heart MC Bad Heart MC uh, started out by doing some fishing and he got an enchanted fishing rod in the process then he then he was fishing with his fishing rod, chanted fishing rod. Then he went mining, uh, found the zombie dungeon, captured it, and then returned to base. Okay, next we have Boonslayer. Boonslayer is having some serious food issues. Okay, uh, at the end of his episode, he was down to one haunch and no food in sight. He he makes this uh, square little farm that doesn't have a lot of space to grow. Uh, and I don't think he, he's got a torch on one side, but, you know, he could have a little more lighting on the opposite side from where the torch is. Might help that side grow a little faster. Uh, and uh, real, other than that, he hasn't uh, he hasn't made any any efforts that I could see uh, in the ways of getting food you know he's not out killing skeletons he's not uh, you know like uh, opening dungeon chests because they usually have good stuff in them and, but anyway uh, if he stands still long enough his wheat will grow and uh, he will have a loaf of bread someday yes we all hope if his if his farm was bigger, he would get food sooner too. Because you know each each wheat gets a certain you know it's like rolling a dice. Each one gets a you know a chance of of growing during each you know period of time, and it might grow, it might not grow. That's why they all grow at different rates. But if you have more wheat planted, then you have more dice rolling and more of a chance of something getting to maturity sooner. So, okay, well, you know, uh, everybody should do what they're good at, and apparently, uh, Boone Slayer is good at watching wheat grow, so, we will watch Boone watch the wheat. Okay, next we have Wild Trekker. Wild 
that's Wild Tracker plays. Wild Tracker. Anyway, he's uh, he he captured a zombie dungeon and turned it into a a simple uh, zombie grinder just by putting some slabs on one side, just reaching through and hitting them. Uh, he built a little base on the side of the of the dungeon there, you know, with his his chests and his ovens and stuff. He's trying to get vegetables from the zombies, uh, but so far he has been unsuccessful. But I imagine it's only a matter of time, and he will get a vegetable. Next we have the solo world of Technoscribe. Technoscribe uh, had a run in with some silverfish on her way to the zombie dungeon, which she captured. Okay. Uh, next, we have the team of Technoscribe, Mike Deadman, and Mom of Miners. Uh, Mike Deadman, also known as Frank and Honest, and Mom of Miners, also known as Momo. So, I guess Technoscribe could also be known as Techna. Anyway, they did some fishing, and they captured one zombie dungeon, and they made bread. So... Oh, and they have a, they have a skeleton locked up. I think they did that the first episode, and uh, so they were talking about now they can put a name tag on them. But as soon as they get enough iron for uh, for anvil, but if you go and, and visit all of the six dungeons, uh, you will encounter enough iron for all of your needs. I think. Because I've only visited two of them, and I've already got, uh, I think, a stack. Okay, next we have Nova Cookie 232. Nova Cookie uh, collected some sugar cane, made some stew, uh, he collected eggs, uh, he got some more red mushrooms that he found in the, in the, in the birch forest. He made bread, so he's doing good on food. Well, he was doing good on food. He did all this stuff. Uh, he's looking for cows. And then he ran out of food and starved to death. Okay. So. Don't remember if he was doing too much running and jumping or if he was just always on the edge. But, uh, yeah. My notes say that he starved to death. So, Nova Cookie's out. Thanks for playing. I hope to see you back next month. I don't know what next month is going to be yet. Okay, next we have Boris the Boris the Man Rat. Boris the Man Rat is in the wrong world. He used default biomes instead of large biomes. So, he's got completely different biomes than we do, which, you know, completely changes the, the food situation. You know, I mean, he's got he's got no food issues at all. Uh, you know, and I I specifically picked the large biomes so that there would be a food challenge in this, along with the uh, challenge of capturing the mobs. So anyway, he made a he made a little wood house. He did some caving, and uh, he made a a farm inside of his house, but it's dry. It has no hydration. Okay, next we have Master Rudy. Master Rudy uh, visited three dungeons in day one. Uh, he visited two dungeons in day zero, so that's five dungeons. And he he went he went for the sixth dungeon, but he got the coordinates wrong and went to the wrong place, or he would have uh, finished all six dungeons. But anyway, yes. He went to a zombie dungeon, and another zombie dungeon, and a, and a spider dungeon. Okay? And then he went to the wrong coordinates. So, he's been he's been a man on the move. And I'm sure that uh, very first thing in day two, he will, he will tackle the last dungeon, and then he'll be ready to make a base, uh, build a... build a museum and start capturing monsters. Okay, next we have the team of Lightbringer and Heatherby. Uh, Lightbringer and Heatherby uh, did some mining 
and uh, that was about it they still have uh, their crops are not coming in fast enough they're they're low on food living off of zombie flesh and uh, so they're they're not visiting dungeons either for some reason I guess they figure they want to get the food situation sorted first and then do the dungeons uh, next we have oh I have a note here that says that uh, the player list is up so for all you old players and all you new players and all you people watching this video if you want to see a complete list of everyone who's playing this month in the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge the list is up and you can find the list by visiting uh, the PB Plays Inside channel PB uh, makes the list and if if you're not on the list you can let her know and you know or if your link doesn't work or anything else so if if you want to see the complete list of players this month uh, go to her channel which is called PB plays inside and she has a video called the player list and you can in that video she'll tell you how to get to the list it's a it's a document uh, oh, a Google document you can click on the link in the description of the video and uh, see who all's playing next we have the team the Gophercraft team uh, comprised of uh, Scotty Garbitas, Max Ryder, Piker Eyes, Basket MC, Sayu Lily, Paisley Playfully and Psycho SFK this is a team of highly skilled Minecrafters and you can tell that they work well together too uh, by what they've gotten accomplished uh, basket uh, dug that one diamond out of the ground down there uh, somebody got a carrot from a uh, zombie they visited a uh, zombie dungeon uh, Piker eyes burned to death when he walked into lava it's like he's walking along this uh, bottom of this ravine you know and there's a lava pool there and he's staying over to the side you know but when he comes to a, a corner there instead of like breaking some blocks and going around he just cuts across the lava that didn't work no that didn't work okay so Piker Eyes is down but the rest of them are still there they did some caving they did some mining uh, Max Max and Scotty but mostly Max is working on uh, turning one of their uh, zombie dungeons into a zombie grinder it's gonna have a water elevator to lift them up to the surface uh, very fancy they also did fishing they did carrot farming and uh, they put chickens in a pit so they can collect eggs okay next we have Baker Bell Baker Bell uh, visited her zombie dungeon uh, killed the zombies got a carrot uh, went carrot farming or maybe she got the carrot last episode can't remember uh, but anyway yes yeah, she did some carrot farming and then she did some caving next we have the team of 8-bit glasses and Philbin 3 8 bit glasses and Philbin 3 uh, found the zombie dungeon got that got that stuff uh, came back to base was working on traps uh, fighting mobs uh, 8 bit glasses uh, fell into a hole there was a creeper in the hole with him that he fell into the creeper exploded 8 bit glasses was blown to bits so I don't know how many bits he is now but it's more than eight okay so but Philbin 3 is carrying on with all of 8-bit stuff next we have Team Colony Team Colony is uh, a lot of people Let's see like OJ OG and Viv Cakes and Soma and uh, New Azusa and uh, Titan Scribe, Momo, uh, Mike Dedmond, some kids, I don't remember everyone, 
Okay, but basically they are low on food. They're doing too much running and not enough uh, hoeing, I guess. So they need to do more fishing. Uh, they need to do more conservation, maybe more planting, uh, collecting seeds. It is difficult to keep that many people in food you know in in that small area I mean what what might be you know difficult but manageable for a single player uh, practically impossible for a team that size and finally we have another team load central uh, I think their team is almost as big they have a lot of players in their team too let me just call up the the uh, list of players that they have I hate to I hate to leave them out I have it right here hang on there it is okay the load central team is comprised of Allen uh, which is Big Mac 313 Dan which is Dan Locker 92 Jess which is Jessica Katz, Krista which is Baker Bell and Scott which is Scottamus Prime okay they uh, like Team Colony are low on food they, and they are fishing so they're doing they're doing what they can there fishing is a really good way to to get food because you can have multiple people fishing in the same place and it's okay Next, they also uh, visited a zombie dungeon and got the stuff. They had encounters with silverfish. And they got a potato from the zombies in the dungeon. So now they can do some serious potato farming. Okay, uh, if you saw my my episodes, uh, I've been trying to, to visit more than one uh, dungeon per episode, but I, I'm not able to to do that so far so far it's been one dungeon per episode at this rate it's going to take me six episodes to visit all the dungeons and uh, other than that I'm getting tons of iron uh, food doesn't seem to be a, a major problem because uh, you know the dungeons are full of zombie flesh and uh, the chests have got bread and you know other things in them and yeah so that's my plan is visit all the dungeons first then set up a base someplace uh, then start catching mobs okay this is Mike Deering signing out I will see you all in day two